Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fitz's Guinea Vision. Thought I'd show off my new shirt. I'm so in love with it. It says, just a girl who loves guinea pigs. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. So, I just got a knock at my door and I was like, who is knocking on my door at like 8.20 in the morning when I'd like to go back to bed after doing my morning critical care and medication feed to Andre. Anyway, the piggy box finally arrived. What do we have here? Okay, so it tells you what's actually in it. Well, it tells you, yeah, it tells you how many there are and of what. And the way, okay, I guess for a customs declaration, you gotta do that. And it came by airmail because Piggy Box is located in the United Kingdom. I am not sponsored by them by any means at all. Everyone in the guinea pig community seems to have been talking about Piggy Box. And, you know, I figured why not? Let's give it a try. See what this is all about. <coughs> so... I figured I would open it together with you. This way you can kind of see what comes in it and then if you want to get it for yourself, you'll have an idea of what it's included in it. And I think I basically just repeated myself twice, so I apologize. It is still early in the morning for me. So I believe this would be the February box. So right away, it is packaged really nicely. It came with this little card thing, which okay, it's basically it tells them about them. I guess each month they uh, they pick a different charity and the proceeds go to them. If I'm understanding that correct. Sorry, this is the March box, March piggy box. Or maybe it's February. No, it would be March, we're in March. Brain fart. Okay, it tells you the ingredients of the stuff in there. Okay, I'll word that later when I'm more awake. Ooh, beautiful tissue paper. Very classy, I like it. Okay. I'm... Ooh. So, for Easter... It is a Easter nest, complimentary feed for rabbits. I am, there's a picture of guinea pigs, so I imagine it would be good for guinea pigs too, but I'll do more research on that. 100% edible nest made from tasty grass filled with beautiful marigold sunflower petals topped with three rosehip eggs. Okay, so yeah, it'll be good for guinea pigs based on those ingredients. So, that's what it looks like. I apologize for the glare. Lighting kind of sucks. And then there's 
Orgasic Sound Nature Snacks, Springtime Snacks with Lemon Balm and Elderflower. Yummy Health Treats for Guinea Pigs and Rabbits. 92% of vets recommend Excel. No added sugar, high in fiber, and perfect for hand feeding. I've never heard of that brand either. I'm guessing, okay, it's a British family company. That's why I've never heard of it. That's okay. So that looks kind of neat. Oh, yay. I've been wanting to get big ones like this. That's awesome. I think the guinea pigs are going to love them, especially the girls. That's awesome. So far, it is definitely worth the, the money that uh, I spent. This is, this is definitely a different box than what I was expecting compared to what keeps getting advertised. But I'm not complaining, I'm okay with this. Okay, what do we have here? Boredom Breaker Naughty and Nice Fruit and Veg. It's a stimulating fun for rabbits, hamsters, and most other rodents. It's by Rosewood. Okay, so that's fine. I've, I'm, I've been hearing some good, uh, some good stuff about that company. Treat and Gnaw. Oh. No, I guess there's a treat once in a blue moon, maybe. Carrot and alfalfa treats that think they are gnaws. Ultra hard to last longer, as well as satisfying your pet's desire to gnaw. You had me up until I read alfalfa. Alfalfa contains a higher calcium content, which for guinea pigs that are six months and younger, or if they are pregnant or nursing, then they need that extra calcium content. But other than that, um, too much calcium from what I've heard, don't quote me, I haven't seen any scientific proof yet. But apparently too much uh, calcium content can cause uh, like bladder stones. I know it definitely can cause calcium sludge, but too much calcium sludge can lead into bladder stones. it's not too bad I mean I'm I don't have to offer it and keep it in their cage all the time I could just offer it to them for a little a couple of hours you know each week or whatever and if they take to it great if they don't that's fine too it's not too bad and then the last item in the box is Spring Meadow, a complimentary feed for all rabbits or rodents and rabbits. Inspired by the British meadows that start to come alive during spring with dandelions, plantain, and wildflowers, this natural blend adds variety as well as natural vitamins, minerals, and fiber, and it's the perfect Easter treat. So it's a forage mix. 
which is great. I still have a fair bit upstairs, but this will just add to the uh, to the treat mix, basically. That's what that looks like. So, with the shipping from the United Kingdom to Canada, I spent, I think it was about $45, give or take. Yeah, about $45, give or take. And from the amount of stuff I've gotten in this box, I would say it is probably worth it. Because items like this alone in my pet my local pet store is probably anywhere from eight to ten dollars each so if you average it to we'll say average cost of eight dollars a piece so one two three four it's five items so it would come to about the same i think give or take i don't know but it's the convenience of having it delivered to my door which is great I am actually, I'm, I'm quite excited for most of these products. It, it's good. I'm not sure who I will be giving what to. But some of these items will make great Easter gifts for the Pigos. So that's exciting. And I guess each month they put different uh, items in there. So you don't always get the same product, which is good too. Definitely excited for these, uh, these toy balls. Yeah, because I used to get just plain ones like this at the dollar store, but they were really small ones, so they would last only like a day, maybe two. Wonder how long these ones will last. So that is the unboxing of the piggy box. Once I <clears throat> open some of these items and everything, I will let everyone know how the guinea pigs actually like them and whatnot. So again, it, it just, everything all comes in a box like this, shipped right to your door. They have um, different subscriptions that you can sign up for, where you can sign up for like, I think, month by month, or you can sign up for like three months at a time, or six months at a time, or something along those lines. Apparently, it, it well, I'm not, okay, when I say apparently, I don't mean as in I don't believe it, I just don't remember the exact details. Um, but if, I think it's, if you sign up for like the six months at a time or the more you sign up for, the cheaper it is. Like, it's like a bundle savings, I guess. 
I don't know, but it's early in the morning for me. I am probably going to go back for a nap. And then I will get started with my day in about an hour or so. So they're located in United Kingdom. It's kind of cool. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you liked the video. And if you want to see future guinea pig content, um, then hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and if you click the notification bell, you should be notified of future content. All right. Bye, everyone. Until next time.